having inappropriate stuff on the Facebook page is going to be damaging for someone's career. I wouldn't hire somebody if I saw them dancing around half naked, urinating in public, vomiting into a trash can. That's not the kind of person that I want to make an investment in as an employer. It's a big mistake. What you're saying is I'm not mature. I don't have great judgment. If you want to work at Vinny's Tattoo Parlor, I don't think Vinny's going to check out your Facebook page. But if you want to work for something in the corporate world, something where you're going to be representing this organization, you're going to be in big trouble when it comes time to getting that job if you've got inappropriate stuff on Facebook or on MySpace. Those are the facts. Well, today we're talking about the shocking and provocative photos that people post on websites. Brad Karsh is the president of JobBound, a company that helps people get jobs. Now, he says that he uses websites like Facebook and MySpace to weed out potential employees. True? Absolutely true. And, and trust me, I'm not alone. This is a majority of companies in the corporate world are doing these kinds of things to get as much information as they can about potential employees before they hire them. Now, in fact, you had an example. You didn't hire a particular intern because of something you saw on MySpace or Facebook? It was on Facebook, and it was a college student, and it, it was a guy, and he was coming over to interview, and I went in his Facebook profile, and it said his number one interest was smoking blunts with the homies. Um, <laughs> now, was that guy kidding? Probably. You know, was he trying to have some fun? Absolutely. But what did it say about his maturity and his judgment and his professionalism? Yeah, and, and I mean, do you recognize that that would, would be a problem? I can understand why it would be, but if the references were, check out places where they've worked before and they are a good employee from what you hear and their resume is also very good, then I don't see why they can't at least get an interview. And then you could see how they present themselves in a professional workplace. But the fact of the matter is we live in an information age. And when it comes to hiring or even keeping people involved in their jobs, people are going to look for information. If you were to look to come work at my company, what's the first thing you do? You check me out online. What happened to common sense? I was just surprised. I was shocked at what you just said. He said, why should my personal life affect my business life? And you said, oh, it shouldn't. But it does. Exactly. What do you mean it shouldn't? Why shouldn't it? Well, it depends what it I is. I want to know the character of, of people that work for me. And if I'm turning my child over to somebody at a school, I mean, if they're... Um, If, if, for, if, for example, I got on the internet, somebody was like slaughtering chickens and worshiping Satan, right. then it, it certainly does matter to me. Not, and you weren't doing that. No. This is a much closer call here. But what do you mean it shouldn't? What, what, what I'm saying is, you know, what you do behind your closed doors at your own home, if you keep that private and to yourself... But if you're a public official, if you're in a position of oh, authority yeah. representing me, if you're in a classroom uh, ha making an impression on my child, then I want to know that too. I want people to do their job and do it with a, a reasonable value system. And if they're not that, then I want to know that. And I think I'm entitled to right. know that. I agree with you 100%. I, what I'm saying is people are finding out more and more information about people because let's say he had a band and let's say he played in his garage and let's say he used that objectionable language from time to time but he didn't post that online would you want to know that yes but the means by which you could find that out wouldn't exist but since well, it does exist that's why the school district is firing him okay